One of the reasons I get into this is just machines themselves. Machines and how they work are amazing things. What I wanted to do was to make that into something where I emphasized the motion and emphasized the patterns I was seeing in the machine. And that's what makes a good piece a challenge and also a lot of fun is that there's a whole lot of engineering and there's a whole lot of design and making it do what I want it to do. I'm David Roy. I make kinetic sculptures. They are basically wooden machines that go on the wall. You wind them up and then create patterns and sounds of motion. The first step is in my head, which I can't show you, but then uh, very shortly thereafter, I just sit down and I start sketching. Whoa. Then I want to go see how the pattern's going to play out. I put multiples on the screen, I watch them, and we just get a feel for it. Will it work? I'm not sure. So you work on it a while, you get frustrated, and you try other things, and it can be months or even years, because it'll be a little breakthrough here that took five minutes, another one here took five minutes, but accumulation, um, it's been a long time before it all comes together into a final piece. This little lever now is pulling on that string, which is pulling on this wheel, which is pulling on this lever, which released the front lever, and now it's going to reverse direction and start the cycle again. Any questions? <laughs> the restful thing that you get from watching a, a campfire, where you're watching the flames or watching the stream, that kind of feeling is what I'm looking for. If it's a successful piece, in my view, you really have to sit and just have a cup of coffee or a glass of wine or whatnot and sit and watch it for a while. I spend many hours doing that. <laughs>